Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to edit slow motion in Final Cut Pro 10 and how to edit a timeline with um, mixed frame rates. I want to go over a couple little tips and tricks that'll help you just when you're when you're um, editing, you know, different frame rate footage. A couple little tips and tricks that I know, and I'm basically to share with you everything that I personally um, know. And if there's you know something I missed or you have questions go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sequence. So I'm going to click on command N right here. As you can see right here, I can create a new sequence right here. Now all these settings are pretty good right off the bat, but the most important thing right here is you can see right here, here you can set your frame rate to any frame rate you want. Now nine times out of 10, you're going to be using 23.98 frames per second. This is for like normal YouTube videos or um, film. However, if you're doing TV, I think it might be 30 and then gaming videos videos is 60 but for the most part 23.98 frames per second um, should be good now let's say you made a mistake and you want to fix it later you actually click on the clip right here click on modify and you can readjust the frame rate right there so you want to make sure your frame rate is at 23.98 frames per second now the next thing I want to go over is the automatic speed feature in Final Cut. Now if you didn't know, you can't just take you know 30 frames per second, 120, 60, 24, and dump it onto a 24 frames per second timeline. It doesn't work that way. The whole timeline is going to look stuttery and jittery. You can't just mix a whole bunch of frame rates and expect Final Cut to just automatically fix um, all your problems. You actually have to use a feature called automatic speed. Now if I click on this clip, no, I did not actually shoot this clip, so it's just a screen recorded clip but if I click on the clip right here go to this little info section as you can see 30 frames per second right here what, what you want to do is you want to click on the clip right here or click on all your clips head over here and you want to click right here automatic speed right there as you can see there we go now it slows down to 80% because it's a 30 frames per second clip you can slow down you have to slow down a 30 frames per second clip to 80% on a 24p timeline so just click on the clip or select all your clips head over here to automatic speed right here and it's going to adjust all your clips so if you have again like a 60 frames per second clip 120 30 it's going to adjust them all so they're slowed down to 24 frames per second the reason you need to do that is you can't like I said before you can't just import a whole bunch of frames of different frame rates into your video because it's going to start dropping frames and it's going to look absolutely awful another feature I want to go over is optical flow so if I take this clip right here as you can see it's a 30 frames per second clip I can slow it down to 80 percent to be a, so it'll be a 24 frames per second clip however if I want to slow it down let's say I go over here and I want to click on slow and I want to slow it down to like 10 percent um, right here as you can see let's go ahead and replay it as you can see, it looks absolutely awful. It's choppy, it's jittery, it looks just borderline awful. Now what you could do is you actually click on the clip right here, and you could head down here to video quality right here, and you can select optical flow. So I go right here, optical flow right there. Basically what that's going to do is it's going to just add fake frames into your clip right here. So I'll go ahead and play and see if it made a difference. As you can see, there we go. It makes a little bit of a difference. You can see, I mean, you already saw the before, but that was the before, and now here's the after. As you can see, it's still a little jittery. Um, it's not perfect, but you can see it definitely looks a lot better. Now, that being said, you might not um, be able to too slow down your clip you know too slow for example you probably don't ever want to slow down a 30 frames per second clip down to like 10 percent but if you take 120 frames per second you might be able to slow it down um to like 10 percent but again you want to make sure you're using optical flow basically you're only using optical flow if you're slowing it down slower than it is supposed to be so like a 120 frames per second clip can only be slowed down to 20 percent if you slow it lower than 20 percent you have to then use optical flow because Final Cut's going to get all messed up and it's not going um, to work. Remember, if you're going to have anything slow motion, shoot in a high frame rate. Don't just shoot all your clips in a high frame rate. Make sure you're very intentional about what you shoot. So if I want if, if I was shooting this video right here and I knew this shot, I wanted to slow down a Buddha Baker, I'm going to slow the clip or I'm going to uh, shoot the clip in my camera at like 60 frames per second or 120. Only shoot in a high frame rate if you intend to slow the footage 
down. The next thing I'm going to go over is how slow you can actually make your clips. So as you can see right here, here is a chart right here. You can slow down 30 frames per second to 80%, 60 frames per second to 40%, and then 120 frames per second to 20%. Now you may ask yourself, okay, how in the world did you get those numbers? What you want to do is you want to take 24 right here, so 24 frames per second, and then divide that by 120 right here, as you can see, 20%. So 24 divided by um, 30 right here is 0.8%. So you can see there's a chart. So that's how slow you can make your clips. And again, you just use automatic speed and it will automatically uh, make these numbers for you. But this is how slow you can make. And like I said before, with optical flow, if you're slowing down 60 frames per second, lower than 40%, use optical flow. Lower than 80% use optical flow. Lower than 20% use optical flow or it's not going um, to work. Uh, one other thing I want to go over right here is this thing that I've learned right here. Now, disclaimer, I'm not 100%, you know, I can't go fully in depth on how to explain this. If you, you know, have a better way of explaining this, by all means, go ahead. But after doing um, a little bit of research, I kind of found um, this really cool formula right here. So if I take right here, if I take, um, so you see 24 frames per second right here divided by 60 um, frames per second, you can slow it down to 40%. However, you can actually double that 40% and make it to 80%, which will then make it real time speed. The same thing with 120. So if I take 24 divided by 120 equals 20%. If I multiply that by two, it gets 40 percent which makes it half speed and then 40 percent times it again 80 percent equals real time speed so i'll put these up on the screen right here this is what i've learned if you have a better way you know a better method go ahead and leave it in the comments below but after doing a bunch after doing a bunch of bunch of research this is what i came up with so you can kind of use um these formulas anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos can consider hitting that subscribe button. Also a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 230 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So definitely go ahead and check out that playlist. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.